So in this video, we're going to start talking about the biomes of the world. And we're going to start with the land biomes. Then I want you to remind, remind you that it's not necessary to know anything about like what kind of plants are going to be there, what kind of animals are going to be there, uh, what kind of influence the humans are having in these ecosystems, which is the environmental science aspect, uh, or even biotic or abiotic factors which are typical for these uh, ecosystems. But it's always good to know that. If, if Unfortunately, we don't have enough time to fully explore that in the context of our biology class. But I do expect you to see the following patterns. The patterns of location, of temperature, and precipitation that these biomes will have. So what do you think this is? You should recognize lots of luscious trees, a lot of river, a lot of water, a lot of evaporation. You can even see the fog in the back all of that and it's in a tropical area of the world because it's all over the place what is this it's a rainforest so there you go rainforest is going to be happening in tropical locations so we're starting here with the tropical biomes and you see the areas of the world marked here that have rainforest and uh, without getting details about rainforest and we will do an activity in class where we're going to go into a little more detail about each of the biomes and hopefully learn a little bit about each one of them but remember, that's not the goal here of our class. We're trying to understand the patterns of, of climate and weather across the biomes. We're not trying to understand exact the details of each of the biomes. Uh, but I hope you do learn a little bit of the details with the activity that we're going to be doing in class. And maybe I will have other videos where we'll talk about the different biomes in a little more detail. But that's not something that you're going to need for the class. I do expect you to know, though, that rainforests are tropical. That you absolutely have to know. Rainforests are one of the most important tropical biomes and it's going to be very, very wet. Look at how the humidity is pretty much constant throughout the year. So that is what you need to know, that this kind of graph shows you a rainforest. Lots of heat, lots of water, rainforest, rivers, humidity, lots of trees. All right, so that's what you, one of the things you need to know. Now, there are a couple of things that you need to know or key terms which are used in association with forests and I wanted to make sure that you are aware of it. The first one is the canopy. Now, the canopy is basically that which you see in this picture. Somebody sitting under the forest taking a picture looking up and you see all the trees all the way up there and all the leaves. Now, notice that most of the sunlight is blocked down here from where the picture is being taken. So, there's going to be a different ecosystem from up there where the canopy is and most of the photosynthesis is being done. Most of the fruits are going to be there. Most of the animals are going to be living there uh, are going to be different from the animals that live down here that's the understory where most of the light does not reach and most of you gonna find dead trees and other kinds of plants which have to fight for those little remnants of sunlight that actually get through the canopy completely different ecosystem and rainforests also have aquatic ecosystems usually they have rivers and streams and things like that so but make sure that you understand that in every forest not just the rainforest you're gonna have a canopy and you're gonna have the understory but the floor of the understory is littered with this. It's called hummus. Now, hummus is basically dead stuff that gathers on the floor of the forest and is decomposed by detrivores and other decomposers. And it's the source of the nutrients of the forest. And there's usually a very thick hummus in the forest. And it comes from all the trees from the canopy which are dying off and everything else that's dying and gathering in the bottom. And that's going to be recycling the nutrients. Now, if you were to cut the forest, the hummus disappears because it's fed by the dying leaves. So the, the, the soil of the rainforest is actually not very rich. It's only rich so long as there's trees there. The moment that the trees are gone, all the nutrients go away as well because the nutrients are coming from the, the trees. It's like a cycle of life. So these are some of the key terms you're going to need to know when you talk about forest. So I wanted to pause talking about biomes to, to introduce these uh, key terms. Here you see another one of our classic tropical biomes and you should know what this one is. It's a desert of course and notice that it's also spread throughout the tropical areas of the world. By the way, the deserts have this kind of feature when you look at a climatograph. Very hot temperatures throughout the year, very little variation between summer and winter and very little water, very very little water at all. In fact, some deserts only see rain every so many years or so. So it's a very um, dry environment. But there's still life there, life that's adapted to live in those kind of circumstances. And we'll talk later in the year about some of the adaptations that plants have to go through in order to survive these things. Smaller leaves, uh, uh, camp plants, C4 plants, spines, deep roots, uh, conservation of water, thick cuticles, all this kind of stuff. Different uh, animals were actually 
tie to a high during the day and they will be more active during the night when it's colder, all those kinds of stuff. Even the seeds are going to be better too on the plants because they're going to have to be very, very dry circumstances. But anyways, that's the desert. Make sure you know that it's very dry and almost equally as hot as a rainforest. So it's basically the same kind of concept. The temperature is not the difference here. It's the amount of water. But what about in between the rainforest and that? You're going to have the savanna. Beautiful, luscious ecosystem. Absolutely amazing. One of the most wonderful places on earth. Awesome animals live in this area. And the savannas are spread throughout the tropical areas as well. So as before, the temperatures are pretty much constant throughout the year. So hot environment. But notice that the water is not constant and it's also not too dry. Instead, what it has is a very wet season that you see over here in the middle. And then the rest of the year is pretty dry, pretty flat, not a lot of rain. So look how the water it's, it gathers only during one part of the year. Forest fires are common and that's actually important to recycle the nutrients. We'll talk about succession later in this lecture series. So that's a savanna. It's in between a rainforest and a desert. It's the same kind of temperature, but it has a little more uh, water than the desert had and that's why it's going to be like this but the plants have to be adapted to a seasonal water so they're going to have a lot of seasonal plants that grow only in the season where the water is going to be uh, more available so that's where lions and gazelles and elephants and giraffes and all those Serengeti kind of animals live beautiful now you also have tropical dry forests now look at that climatograph wait hold on a second go back to the previous one Mr. Lima. did you use the same climatograph twice did I do that it looks so similar. I actually did that on purpose. Because here's the thing. Tropical dry forests are pretty much the same thing as savannas in terms of their natural conditions. So why is it that, it's th that one place is more foresty-like and one place is more grassland-like? The answer is elephants. Elephants knock down the trees to keep the savanna the way they I it is. If they don't have as much elephants, it could become a tropical dry forest. Now, it's not as simple as that. Sometimes a forest is in the process of becoming a savanna from a rainforest, and that's why it's called a tropical dry forest. Uh, and sometimes the savanna is getting wetter, and that's why it's becoming a tropical dry forest. But technically, they're pretty much the same abiotic conditions, the same amount of temperature and rain throughout the year. The biggest difference is going to be the amount of other animals which knock down the trees, in this case, the elephants. So that's the tropical biomes that you have to know of. You have deserts in one end, and you have rainforest in the other and in between you have tropical savannas or uh, tropical dry forests and the difference between those two is the uh, animals which are going to be knocking down the trees or not and sometimes it's because there's a trend uh, the forest the tropical dry forest is a transitional ecosystem between a grassland and a forest so it used to be wetter but now it's becoming drier so it becomes a forest and then eventually a savanna or it used to be drier and now it's becoming wetter so it goes from savanna to, to tropical dry forest and then to rainforest I hope that makes sense. In the next video, we're going to be talking about the temperate biomes that you need to know about.